Previously on Fire Emblem Awakening, I counted reinforcements when they appeared, and I made a dumb song out of it. Two, two them, one, two them, one, two them, three. I just love it when reinforcements ambush me. So many come out like you wouldn't believe. Good thing Nosferatu is so OP. Hello everyone, good day, hope you're doing well. I'm Mecha, and I'm playing Fire Emblem Awakening with Raisins. How are you doing, man? Doing well, I'm Raisins, and I'm playing Fire Emblem Awakening with Mecha. How are you? I didn't know you were playing. I thought you were just looking up reinforcements. Oh, that too. That too. Don't worry, I'll get it right, I'll get it right this time. <laughs> and I think it, I think I'm going to cite this in English too. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> cool. Uh, today we're playing the infamous dreaded military, the, aka the military, aka we're going into the military because it's green or something. I don't know. We're, we're saving Naga or Tiki, one of those two things. I think that's the idea, right? That's why we're here. I think it's, uh, we need to not necessarily save Tiki, but it's the kind of thing where it, it's like an oracle quest where our heroes need some revelation from some oracle. So oh, yeah. we're going to visit them in the military. Yeah, but... I, thought it, I thought it was about uniting the troops that are resisting uh, the invasion of Falm. Something like that. And they would, they're all like super religious, so they'll, they'll go for uh, Naga. They'll unite under Naga's banner, I think is the idea. I think. You're probably correct. I haven't been paying attention to the story, I won't lie. Let's, let's see if we can get some more details out of this. Naga's Figure voice. Oh, that's a tree. Uh. <laughs> Oof. It's a big tree. Yeah, Basilio is like, he's like five meters tall and he still can't see the top of it. I see. No. He's a very large man. Right. Great staircase inside the trunk. Oh, so just get inside. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, wait, it's inside? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. there's stairs inside, I think. And then at the top, I think, is this shrine. But uh, the Empire is blocking us. Or the Empire, whatever. The, the military is blocking us. The military of the, the military. <laughs> there's a military. <laughs> I didn't even intend that. There's a there's military, a military on the military. <laughs> no, but we're all rooting for calm success here, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is the dreaded military, mostly known for, I think for one, the boss with his giant moustache, and then also uh, the fact that there's ambush reinforcements and really convenient places. I think this is the first spot in Awakening, besides, I guess, the Paralog I've already played, where people get ambushed a lot and they die a lot. So, hopefully, okay. with Raisins' help and um, some ideas of my own, that will not happen. So, I know one, well, I guess... E easy is maybe a generous word for it, but the first reinforcements are a bunch of heroes that appear at the back, and then the second reinforcements are all the Pegasi that appear on the side. So the moment you see the hero reinforcements from the bottom, you just hurry yourself up and end the map. That usually kind of works, but you know there's no guarantee when this boss has Pavas. Oh yeah, as Pavis. Yeah, starting a defense plus two indoor fighter and Pavis. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he probably wouldn't survive a hammer from Vake, but I'm not going to deploy Vake because that feels like cheating at this point. <laughs> Uh, I have another team yeah. in mind. I'll need to reset real quick to show the preps. Uh, so give me one second here. Okay, so I've prepared a pretty ambitious team for this one because I really much want to make sure I get it right. Um, I think I looked up the reinforcements myself because I wanted to know just in case, you know, you, I don't know, you, you, you lose the ability to speak Spanish or something. So I think reinforcements are turn four, five, and six basically, roughly, and it's for first those heroes you talked about. Yes. Yeah. So I can bum rush uh, Mustache Man, but there's no guarantee we'll win before that time. Something on the way might go wrong. Uh, but I have other plans that will help us get through this. Uh, first of all, a healthy dose of Nosferatu. I have Tharjan here um, with Rickon's help. I have uh, Naoi, a defensive monster who doesn't die to anything. I got uh, the good old Sumia Frederick. I feel like I haven't really used him in a little bit. Um, I got more. Dark Mage is here. I actually have three promotions lined up between Lawrence and then uh, I think two other kids as well. Uh, Lucina's wow, here yeah. to help Lawrence. Uh, also, I got um, Inigo and Kel here, basically ready to promote. I did train Kel a little bit. Something funny I noticed about this map is it has absolutely no magical enemies. It's all physical dudes. So the idea is Kel right now already has 27 defense when taking plus 2 defense into account. And then we should promote, she's going to get even more. And then when I pair up with someone, someone like Inigo, who is going to promote as well, 
then she'll have enough defense to probably withstand a lot of hits, but still take enough damage for us to actually see counter in action on, for example, these warriors. So I think this is honestly Kiel's best map in the whole game if she's going to go general. So I'm looking forward honestly, to trying that out. Does she get indoor fighter or outdoor fighter from the from the roots? I guess it's, since it's called a plane, I actually still don't really know. Oh, she does have indoor fighter, no outdoor fighter. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this map is outside, but I'm not entirely sure. Because uh, like yeah. this whole place is like lake. I'm, I didn't know this before, but the whole map is a lake, and then it has tree roots growing over that lake. I think it's outdoors, but I don't think you can tell skills from the menu right here. I don't believe so. So we'll have to find it out. And uh, I don't know. I hope personally, I hope we don't just don't find out about Kill. I hope she just like negates enough damage to where you don't have to care. Uh, but that's just how much defense she has. Wants so, to be promoted. Yeah, we can go Great Knight, but I think it'd be more fun to go General and get that extra point of defense. How do you not go General, man? Gotta increase our diversity even more. That's right. Go full Pitfall. Who needs move? I mean, we're gonna pair her into Inigo, and he's gonna provide all the moves she needs for turn one, and hopefully from there, she'll be able to reach whatever she needs to reach. That's there we point. go. Look at this, General. Good in General. What the fuck, dude? 10 HP? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. FE6 Warriors stand aside. We get plus 10 HP on promo. Plus 10 HP, double digit promo bonuses. Thanks, Awakening. Really cool. And axes. In case you want to. Just like her father. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we can give her a bronze axe for that. Um, it's probably going to be used up if I use it. I actually have uh, an arm scroll somewhere that I might want to give to Inigo. I actually have two. Let me promote him. I think I'm going hero. Uh, I like Hero more than Bow Knight for him because I like Soul more than Rally Skill at this point. And I also think it's probably, yeah, it's more bulky. I realized that Soul was like considered a pretty good skill from Hero. But then I also realized that Soul is basically Nosferatu at home. So I don't think it's that super great, not compared to Nosferatu. But still, like, if you want to enemy phase like really strong enemies, Soul is probably your best bet, right? Yeah, I mean, it turns out like Walmart Nosferatu is still pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, it'd be pretty fun. I think Hero, you're right. In Probably 95% of cases, Hero is better than Bow Knight. When we were doing Inigo's Paralog, you know, we ironically found ourselves in that 5% where we'd rather have Donald Bow Knight. But... Yeah. Because there he needed both the movements and the 1 2 range. Oh, yes. I do really like the oh. Hero versus Bow Knight choice, especially for like Garrick and the V8. I think it's like a, one of the most balanced promo choices here. And speaking of balance, look at those plus threes across Ooh. the board. Pretty good. Axes as well. We could hand axe it. We could give him an arm scroll and have him give him the axes. I could also give it to Gregor. I actually was planning on giving it to Gregor first. I like the idea of having hand axes on him because he has no options otherwise. And uh, I mean, we're mostly going to be using Kill over Inigo for this chapter, I think, because Kill is so defensively good. But I think for Gregor, it'd be nice to have the hand axe option. I have another arm scroll spare lying around. But now we can hand axe, which might be nice. And. Should come in handy. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a steel sword with a couple more uses just in case it comes in handy as well. Uh, but he can equip the spinning edge for now when he's paired up to kill. Oh god, that was so good. Give him the upper hand. So. Yeah, cause you, you're lauding Naoi earlier. It's like, oh, she's a defensive monster. I think Kiel has damn near double the HP and four or five more points of defense. So <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Okay, well, not double, but you know. Yeah, you're right. She's I also equally maps. fast. Like, Kiel is actually not slow at all. What on earth? Yeah, she's uh, she's pretty good. She's about as fast as Starjan. She's like, she's probably one of my slower units, but she's not slow, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, so we got that. There was one more, a couple promotions actually. I'm gonna promote Lauren. I've been using a lot of use. Uh, You're not one of those people who, when someone's at 97, you just gotta get that last bit. I would, you know, I would, but I'm gonna forget if I don't do it now. So like, that's fair. That's fair. It was for grinding, and I would just like, I would might care a little bit, but I just don't. <laughs> He can get his levels elsewhere. Like his internal level will be one lower as a result of this. And I mean, oh, looking at Lord's true. levels before, they've never been good anyway. <laughs> he just keeps getting shit level ups, but it doesn't matter because Nas tanking. That's how RNG works, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's got a cool skirt. I mean, all of Lauren's outfits so far have been amazing, without exception. He's pretty bulky now too. Looking good, Lawrence. Uh, let's make sure to equip Nosferatu. And I think I said I wanted to promote, let's see, I got Inigo, Kiel, and Lawrence. I said three, I think, so that should be all the promotions I got in store right now. I get the arm scroll away. 
Um, I got the beast killer on her. That's good. That's all she needs. All right. So let me see if the units are in the right order. They probably are. They look like they are in order. Let me just make one more save because I might screw something up. And let's go. What? Let us commence. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> the hairy spider. <laughs> Sire. This is the most, this is the funniest villain in the game. Also the dumbest, but also the funniest. I mean, like, I mean, you know the word fear. Fear. <laughs> fear the beard? Oh, no. Fear the beard. Fear the mustache. <laughs> I haven't shaved since my very first battle. Thanks. I appreciate it. Whoa. Ah, uh, I see where, I see what it's modern for. day Samson. Yes. Okay, the first maneuver that I'm really proud of. So you see this Pegasus Knight over here with a Beast Killer. I wasn't really a big fan of having a Beast Killer here. That's kind of why I was so afraid to field um, random mounting units. I just wanted like to foot the squad basically. And then I realized this Pegasus Knight is actually in a really exploitable spot. Uh, if you check the range of all the people around, uh, you can see that this is all lake. So if you have a flyer like say Sumia, I think it's fly over. She can be out of range of all the enemies, but you can still kill the Beast Killer guy without any care in the world. Ooh, I think it's pretty clever. Cool. So we'll go with that, just to not have to worry about this ranged beast flying around. I actually initially forced a beast killer to try and get this one to kill. And then I checked and it turned out it was way overkill and this beast killer on its own gets the kill. Like, alright, this is okay. Yeah. Simi is kind of good as it turns out. Yeah. I mean, she feels like her strength and defense are not that high right now. Oh, we got another beast killer. Nice. And they're not that high, but Frederick kind of patches it up to be acceptable. She doesn't have overkill like some other people do, though. So, uh, Lauren's gonna have Lucina's company once again. I'm gonna try out his new sorcerer outfit. Uh, we could move him one up further so he's in range of uh, a couple more enemies. I think room with more enemies is nice. Uh, there's thieves here. They all escape in the escape points near the top of the map. And if you look at WD, you'll probably see it too. But basically, he runs up the left branch. Uh, and there's another one in the middle that moves up the middle branch. I kind of lost where he is. Uh, but I'll, we'll find him along the way, I'm sure. There should be yeah, another right, one right, somewhere. Right, right. Yeah, yeah we thought... should be able to cut him down. Yeah, I actually don't see any other thief. Oh, there's one near my starting point. I can probably kill him turn one if I really want to. Uh, maybe with Kel. And then there should be one other one. And they have like some pretty good stuff. So I'm going to try to cut them down. So that's why yeah. I kind of deployed Sumia Frederick to catch up to them. I do like the Awakening Thieves as a side objective, you know? It's like a chest that you can break open with weapons. Yeah. And move. <laughs> it's, it's a mobile fun. chest. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, there are probably, you know, people with... Lives and motivations as well, but you know, come on. <laughs> Honestly, if you think of They're people as li with life, as, if you think of them as people with lives and motivations at this point, um, like I don't know, what, what game have you been playing? Oh, wow, this is seven. How much speed do you give this? Oh, plus six speed, plus four defense. It's gonna be invincible. Let's plus six go. skill. That's not your nine hit, man. Something yeah. sneeze at. That's insane. Uh, so we can Bronze Lance this guy and get massive overkill, or we can get Steel Lance and do even more massive overkill, or we can Javelin probably and get even more overkill. Do we need a range weapon? Bronze Axe. Steel Dude. Um, oh, there's a Silver Bow Dude here that I'd like to kill. Uh, yeah, we probably just want to clean it up with that. I'm just going to... Come on. I'm just going to use a Bronze Lance or something. Actually, well, yeah. if we have If we have a Javelin out, then it'll increase the probability of one of these guys attacks us in melee, and so we can proc counter. <laughs> I mean, there's only one guy that can go at range to begin with. That nah, still counts. <laughs> sure. Let's see this. I have your back. Yeah. Oof. Doesn't have my back. Let's go kill. What are we doing? We have 35 defense. 35. So if an, if an enemy has like someone else in range, like anyone else at all, they'll just go for someone else. Let's not do that. Let's stay out of range with everyone else for the most part. Uh, I was gonna do. So I made a poll on Patreon about whether to pair Gregor with Naoi or with someone else. Uh, I saw the most popular candidate was like Shersh or maybe someone else. I included an, another option, another option they could vote for. And now we got crushed in the votes, even though they're like already at A support. Everyone was like, no, marry Gregor to Shersh. So I guess we're not doing Gregor Naoi anymore. Crunch. Oh, poor people. Yeah, they just don't want the Naoi paired, I guess. But the Patreons have spoken. Yeah, they, they played have. their matchmaker. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll do Tharja. I want them to break their, their weapons on kill, so maybe just chill a little bit with Tharja and friends. 
break their weapons on kill. I mean, or break their faces, whatever they want. I'll just leave them behind a little bit. The heroes won't show up for a while anyway. It's yeah, not for a minute. Divide and conquer a little bit. Uh, I didn't. This is the map where I didn't field Olivia because I felt like this. If there's a map where you don't want to field her, it's probably this one. I don't, I'm not saying she wouldn't be good if you like plan out your turns, but I didn't plan out my turns. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, now, I think. Yeah. You no. Know, what, what is your overall strategy? Is it, is it to rush down the boss there again before the reinforcements even show up, or is it to prepare for the reinforcement? Prepare for the reinforcements. I'm so. probably not gonna like boss kill until I've killed the majority of the enemies, but right now I just want to show off. Yells, powers, and we'll see how fast we can make it to the boss. Uh, assuming I can catch the thieves with my mount units, because I only feel like one pair. So, the, the strategy is we'll see. <laughs> we'll oh, see. Gotta we'll go see. here. Yeah, we should be fine. Let me. It looks like we're going to encounter them with the exact tiles. Wide has a better picture on this anyway. Yeah. I do really like this map, I'm not going to lie. The first time I hit it, this is one of those where you know, I've had a few easy maps in a row with this unit's going better, and now here's something that makes you think. I really love it for that. I don't know if it really makes you think. When I see these maps, what I think is I don't want to plan out my turns, I just want to, like, I just want to feel juggernauts and go at it. And if you try to do anything else, it starts to feel like a bit of a slog. Maybe that's just me. Uh, that's why I just feel good units instead. You double heroes? Oh, no. uh, shit. Counter? Oh, right, you don't take damage, that's right. Waiting for warriors. Honestly, the warriors have one to range. Oh, going for one range? Oh, that's a oh counter time, counter time. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on, Inigo! You didn't need to. Did I... I didn't know Inigo has Nile. <laughs> Inigo, why did you do that? I wanted to see counter. That was sad. It only works on enemy face, right? It doesn't work when I hit them in the face, does it? Uh, I think it only works when they attack you, yeah. In you go. Oh, there's the thief. So we, we can catch him. Greatness. Ooh, he's got a master seal. Yeah. Oof. Kind of Rearrange range of that bow knight? Yeah, so I'm going to have to switch to Frederick here, which might not be as bad as it seems, because, I mean, Sumia has 28 speed. Frederick has 22. Still pretty good. Uh, we get them Brave Lance or something like that. And Oko. Doesn't, he doesn't actually need... He needs the Brave Lance to kill... That's okay, so there's a Silver Sword Hero and a Silver Lance one. If we kill him from below with Frederick, then we're not even in range of the Bow Knight. Or we could just use Sumi on that case, actually. And just, we just we just take on the Ruffian, and that's about it. The Mod Ruffian and the Hero. We're just out of range. He's not going to pair up into the Hero and then move down uh, and switch. <laughs> Imagine. If enemies were smart enough. This, this whole branch is actually like kind of barren enemy-wise. Uh, we can probably catch that Thief too this turn, and we have all three Thieves clocked up. I like that. Let's kill a Steve with uh, Lawrence. Uh, nine use on Strata should be enough. There's someone else that can take the hero. Yeah, the, the warrior, we can take him out. Someone else, let me zoom in a little bit. Nasratu. Yeah, between Anna and Lissa, we should be able to snag a kill there. Yeah. <laughs> I think I only feel Anna because I had a slot since they feel Olivia. Speed one will be nice. I, I guess this can be one for Robin or something. Uh, I don't really, I don't think training Anna is the right play anymore. As much as like, it doesn't really matter who I train, I guess, because what? I do whatever. But not training Anna, I cried. Get out of here! Right, right. How else are we gonna make a killing? I don't know, man. I think we're making plenty of killings in the world of business. Okay, so get this guy from below with a killer lance is probably good. Cause I might not two shot the hero without killer. Ooh. This guy's very dead. 96. <laughs> she got the next one. You and I are very different on the staff features, though. It seems like you deploy one or two. I'm like, if they have a staff rank, they're on the team. Yeah. Well, I, I guess in a way, a staff user would have been more useful in this spot because I'm making Kill do everything anyway. But I guess what I'm going to do is just move on with Kill and have other people wrap up what she started. And uh, that way she doesn't fall behind even more than she already does with her movement. So just use this. Hopefully, I mean, the warrior should use an axe against her because if he uses a bow, he just does less damage. Why would you do less damage? Why would you choose to lose less damage? I would have deployed Cherish, but like I said, I was afraid of like Beast Cutters. I might, Greg, I thought Gregor might be more fun to use. He also got Soul now because he's uh, he got to level 5 through just grinding with Cherish to get love points. Ooh, I can, I want to be really fancy. I can get a kill with Rick in here, maybe. Sounds really dumb. Which means I'm gonna do it probably. Can... Yeah, you can get a kill. Actually, you might have a hundred hit. 
Quit it is. <laughs> I want to apply that. Wait, it does apply? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's for adjacent enemies, so... That got ugly. Oh, I thought when they were paired up, though, they just, you know, didn't have their skills. Damn. I mean, this is Rickon's skill, too, I think. Oh, wait, what? I think so. Nice Actually, focus. hold up. No, you're right. Uh, no, I guess Star Just skill works. Yeah, I guess it has to, because you, you saw he had different hit, right? Like, depending on where he was, uh, he was at. That's funny. I wasn't reading too closely, but I, I trust you're correct. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I just kind of assumed it would work like that, and it did. Did Gregor get doubled? What? What kind of hero are you? Alright, I guess it's uh, it's now time. Is Might get a dual strike with Rickon. Get another kill. Let's get it. Yeah. We just got that hit plus 10. Yeah. I mean, that's that. That's a dual strike. That's that Fates pair up that we're doing in Awakening. Offensive pair up, as I like to call it, whenever I can't keep with the name. It always works every time. Yeah, I've heard like attack stance, guard stance. Oh, yeah, attack stance is the proper name for it, I think. Ooh, not a sewer. Just a... Um... Something in the tutorials. It's like Kanto is technically move again in FE7. Yeah. Um... Gotta pair him up. Oh no. Go immediately. <laughs> what are you doing? Oof. Let's <laughs> just taking an Uber. You know what else is really busted about Nostrad attacking? is like, enemies don't realize they can't kill you. So they'll go for you over like a unit with more defense, and so you just take them on with ease. Yeah, they can't quite do the math either. Jeez. And like, sometimes they have a sequence of attacks that can like, maybe kill you. Yeah. Well, like this guy, I think he might have gone for kill, but... And he's like, no, nah, actually, I'm here. And he's like, no, nah, actually, you're right. Let me go for you. And then, mage? How can I resist? Okay, counter time. Counter time. Finally, come on. Yes! Oof. Look, it made a oh, big difference. Full damage back. Like, this guy, we didn't toot kill him, but with counter, we still didn't toot kill him. Big difference maker. We have so much defense. Oh, now it's even now it's even worse. Yeah. We got a point of strength. <laughs> it gets worse every time she levels up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're not doing shit with this guy. I guess we need to find someone with hammer, right? So we're going to pack a hammer for the boss, or...? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I feel that anyone who can use hammer, unless it's D rank, in which case, Gregor can we use it? Seems highly dubious. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, it's probably not D rank. Ooh, there's a bow knight. We got a steel sword. Oh, she doubles these. Get me out of here. Did she doubles a bow knight? Yeah. I guess with Inigo, but... Yeah, Inigo gives like six speed. And like <laughs> Okay, I think uh he said come, but I think it's gonna be one more turn. I believe I saw turn four on the page. It is turn four, but let me well, let me double and triple check. And I wanna be made a fool of another time. Yes, turn four. Alright. Also know that when we get sniper reinforcements, apparently they have long bows, which is very dumb, but also very cool. Oh, they have longbows? That's awesome. Smart. Get out of here. Let me get that veteran. Very nice. Very nice. And this one. Let's go for Krom. Snipers are lunatic only. Oh, I see. I guess we won't get them then. Damn. It's such a shame we're not playing lunatic. Set. Very few people. Nice. Damn. So satisfying to get these good levels. It's strength and speed. Okay, we can we can bait this whole batch with Lord probably. Let's just uh, take this dude out. We can we can break our thing here. Let me just make sure we break it. Unequip him Lucina real quick. Yeah, we don't want a random one use Nos, and then he's gonna crit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess he did. But... Yeah. I mean, I say that, but. I think even if something like that happened to Lorne at this point, he has 50 HP and he has Vantage at this point, so I don't think it would really hurt him very much. It's just a habit I got into when back when he did like 10 damage per hit, uh, oh. like two chapters ago. <laughs> back when we really had to count cards. Yeah. Um, okay, so you have a short spear, but you don't even reach, so let me try out Gregor's hand axing skills. Actually, that's not. Can't miss like that. Let us use Steel Shield. And oh, we're still gonna be using swords? Do you have one of these for every weapon? <laughs> no. Nice. Not yet. Also, Gregor's stats not looking super great. I think we're just... There's no horses later in this game, so... Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 
Let's see. Let's switch back to Tharja first of all. Sure. It's kind of amazing how an enemy can be so close to you, but yet so far away that he can't even reach you. Kind of sad. I got the philosopher. <laughs> Let's see. Do I need to javelin here? I guess if this silverbow sniper goes for me, but he doesn't do damage to me, so he'll probably go for Lord instead. Assuming AI. Short spear guy. He'll go for me, though. Maybe we'll just javelin again. That seems reasonable. Let's go, kill. I'm working so far. This whole plan of, you know, let Kale do most of it. Yeah. Seems to be pretty good. I don't even mind if she's not killing, because otherwise there'd be a bunch of people behind her that are, like, unable to do anything anyway. Oh, yeah. And if she were killing, that should be more defense levels, and her counter gets weaker and weaker, man. Yeah. Gotta keep her under leveled. 0% growth scale is optimal, to so. <laughs> Let's try this bomb with staff. I haven't been in a situation yet where it's actually mattered what she had uh, bomb wood or something else. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is the appropriate map to start using bomb wood, so. <laughs> because it's made of wood? I wouldn't know. So. <laughs> Alright, Frederick hasn't had anything to do in a while. Can he double? 20. No, he doesn't double. In that case, Sumia, please do the honors. Oof. I guess I don't really care what I use. I guess this is a pretty good weapon. Yo, that's 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 rally. It's kind of confusing that like I have Sumia active right now, but the bottom right this place Frederick because I checked the stats last or something. There you go. That should be right. I think she rallies move, right? I, yeah. Yeah. I guess if it up, I guess if it updated every time though. Oh wow. What that up to <laughs> Big rally. Ooh, killer axe. Oof. He still wouldn't have died though because he's that tanky. He thinks he's Tarja. A logical result. Like imagine if he got crit here or something. And then, like, let's say he doesn't regain HP, he would still regain HP through Vantage on the next hit. That's how safe he is. <laughs> you good? Did he just say hello, hello there? <laughs> hello there. And he is paired with the General, so... <laughs> General Kill. General Kill. Move those feet. You are a bold one. <laughs> You're right, weapon names in bold. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, Mart is pretty good at critting on a second attack. Yeah, I guess he's just practicing for vengeance later. Damn, okay, now he's leveling up well. I don't know if it's me or not, but like, after unit promotes and he starts snowballing, that's when I usually start like getting good level ups for me sometimes. And I think this is like confirmation bias because they just get a lot more level ups when they start snowballing. But it's so satisfying to see a unit that was like kind of on the fence before, especially in the draft race, just suddenly pop off and start getting like strength and speed a bunch of times. Let's go. That's true. Nah, it's frustrating when they don't level up at all until they hit the benchmark and then they level speed every single time. Oh yeah? It's like, thank you, Hector, with 15 speed. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that, what's that even the benchmark for? You only reach that after promotion, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. I've had a promoted 7 Hector with like 22 speed, but... Race car Hector. Right, yeah, I probably shouldn't plan on having this, so. Okay, uh, the heroes are like from the starting point, right? That's right, the starting point. They will appear here. And then we have this turn and the next. Alright. To prepare for the Pegasi. <laughs> the Pegasi, the worst. Because they probably cover like not, even, not half the map, but like a third of it each from each side. Ooh, we're getting close to uh, Mustachio, though. Let so, me look at. Okay, Tomahawk. Yeah, so. they fire on the Awakening. Javelino. Oof. Yeah, they kind of come in from like way in the north. Ouch. Wait, what? The Javelin? The Pegasi? Yeah, the Pegasi. Like, they appear at. um... I thought they were like here and here, roughly. Yeah, like they appear at about Kiel's altitude, I guess is maybe <laughs> a word for it. Altitude. But... <laughs> I don't know how else to describe That's the nice vertical word combat. For it, yeah. but... I wonder where I want Anna to have. I guess I just want her to pair with Chrom then. I will say though, um, these western Pegasi do appear right there from these tree roots. Like if you look in the very far left. If you go left and then up as far as you like, that's basically where the Pegasi come from. Yeah, yeah. these squares. I mean, Rob is not great at handling Pegasi. We can probably hold his own. And Chrom. <laughs> I think I'll leave it to like Frederick Kron, uh, Frederick or something, Frederick Sumia. I don't know. It's maybe. better than Olivia, that's usually where the Pegasi hit in my files. Right? Yeah, so. <laughs> that's the worst. I think at this point Sumia is like more bulky than Frederick. I think Sumia can handle it right there. I'll just send these to the middle a little bit. Actually, this is where the heroes are. Um, 
let's cover up Robin with Sarge. I'm sure she wouldn't mind doing that. Just uh, gotta protect the best unit in the game. And, uh, okay. I mean, those the the Pegasus just really like the game soundtrack, specifically oh. the prep steam. They want you to hear it more. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First hit. Be at peace. First hit, that's right too. Okay, you gotta appreciate someone telling someone to be at peace and just curse them with a the dark tome. Maybe not try to do something that dark. It seems kind of dark, though, draining someone's life away. Probably. I mean, that was light magic in some of the other games, right? Okay, counter? Ah, yes. Counter's gonna matter here. Watch. No! Fucking piece of shit. Not Why'd today. <laughs> okay, at least he made up for it with the dual strike. Hmm. I didn't know Kale was purple. It's kind of a funny armor color. Was there any other purple general? Ooh! Mm, but the heroes are tomahawk. I want to keep this. Yeah, yeah. All the other purple general. Oh come on, Murdoch. Yeah, that's right, Murdoch. She's Murdoch. She's a Murdoch reference. Oh, it's a reference to the older game. That's right. <laughs> of course it is. Wait, Pafis is like um, physical attacks, right? Only. I think. Actually, oh, it's melee. I think it's melee. Yeah. yeah. It's melee. Yeah, I can never keep me straight, being honest with you. Yeah, it's like, when you see the list of weapons that it, like, has a chance of activating against, I'm like, what's the theme here? But I think it's, like, melee weapons versus weapons that can be ranged, but not necessarily always are ranged. Mm -hmm. Let's see, are we in range? We are exactly in range. We don't kill exactly. Oof. We could try, like, equip this and try it. We could... Is there any way we can, like, deliver him a superior jolt from Robin, maybe, or...? Ooh, that'd be interesting. I don't know how strong it is. I mean, it says it's superior, so probably it's a bit stronger. It only has two hits on it. 14 mites, whereas what he has right now is kind of weak. 7. It's 10. So, do we do four more than Arc Thunder? Any but it's also... Oh, I was thinking of the... Uh, one that's like a brave weapon. Oh. I was incorrect. Celica skill. I think I have that. It should be on... The convoy somewhere. We we'll probably get a better tome somewhere. Um, yeah, this one. Wilder winds versus mites. Oh, this is Nosferatu oh, as the, well. Damn. It's the super nos. Wait a minute. How much extra might is this over a regular nos? Because it's uh, fifteen versus. It's like, it's like double the power. Oof. Only eight. Yeah. Let's see. Um, so you mm. did like Arc Thunder is ten, and with Arc Thunder, we're doing twenty-four. And then we had a plus five might tome in there versus might that'd be twenty nine, so I think we'd still Some need a dual that. strike if we wanted to kill. And then dual strikes are like, well, first of all, they don't always activate, and then they're also vulnerable to Pavis. Uh, twenty eight percent chance. Uh, we have to kill here. She doesn't reach. We do have a rescue staff on Anna. That we could make use of somehow. Like if we if we did something super fancy, right? We could. Um, and Anna to Sumia, fly her over here, and then we use a rescue staff on um, uh, Naui Tharja or something like that. And then they might be in range, but it'd have to be in the same square, makes the same. I guess it's not altitude because they have to be here. Uh, yeah. What like, what tomes do um Tharja and Rickon have on them? They got. Uh, this stuff. Uh, nothing nothing yeah. handy there. Yeah. yeah nothing, no, never nothing. mind. Forget I asked. Um. But I mean, <laughs> if they just get like any attack off, they just win, right? It doesn't matter what tomes they have. Because uh, Laurent alone is going to do at least uh, 48, and it'll bring him down to five, yeah. 15 or so. So I think any magical attack will get the win here. Because he has 26 might or 26 strength. Robin has more. So, like, if we just rescue Staff Robin, honestly, I think Lissa even has rescue Staff. Yes, yeah, she does. So, if we just rescue Tharja here, I guess it doesn't quite work out yet. Yeah, we might have to... We could double rescue. We, we might have to do the rescue Staff thing where you, like, put people around it so it rescues to the north instead of to the south. Yeah, or just rescue twice, because if we rescue once with Lissa to get Tharja up here, and then we have this duo, except with Anna instead, we can do it twice and it'll just end up further north. Ooh, that seems interesting. I'm gonna try that. Let's attempt to dive on the boss then, let's do it. Yeah, that's, I, don't, I mean, I was gonna route the map, but that's basically what I've done already, so... Yeah. How <laughs> uh, much difference? Yeah, so... I guess we gotta get any sparkling tiles we can get any. Oh yeah, I'll worry about that when we have, like, the boss thing in range, because if I have fucked that up, then I have to 
compensate with other units, maybe. Rescue... So this duo, I guess. I don't think they'll be far enough. But I can just do it again. No, no, no. They may be more like Florina or Fiora, but definitely not. So pass off Anna to Sumia. Perfect. And then they should be able to rescue again. I could also have used Rally Move, I guess, somewhere, but this is all I need anyway. Six yeah, that's fine. And rescue Tharja again. There you go, Chrome and Frederick having some bro time over there. <laughs> they actually have like a C support, I think, so if we do end up going into enemy phase. <laughs> it sure beats gold. Wait, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's like, hang on. And then we're in range. How much time should you take out curiosity? Hmm, interesting. Well, what if we what if we can get the killed Rickon again? We can kill the Cervantes with unpromoted Rickon. Uh, let's see, 24. Got on 15. I'll check that earlier. I do 5 damage, right? Oh, 15. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, go close. Actually, no. Not hit. 13 damage. Or 16 with 98. Mm. I'm down. The 16 is enough combined with that hit. So let's just kill the stupid Falcon Knight with our bronze. Sparkling tile. Oh, right. Um, we hmm. can do it from the Sparkling Tile if you jab. Oh, right. Dual utility. Maybe Bronze Axe kill this guy. Uh, I want her to take after her dad and use an axe, but I guess this is, this take, takes priority. Get this man out of here. No. <laughs> no. No. Right. I don't think I don't think Kill will ever be this dominant in a map again because I think Awakening loves to mix in magical enemies after this with physical enemies. But for this one time, having like 33 defense on the field was like pretty goddamn fun. Oh, pretty good, yeah. I think um, nah, you're right. Those master here are not that magic too. Okay, have support. Dude, he said he glimpsed a lovely maiden and he's got a registered improvement. Okay. I mean, I guess Oof. he's implying it's kill. Oh, shit. Could have killed the Pegasus with him. Sad. Oh, wait. Nope, that doesn't work either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. You don't give move, right? There's no way. Nah, should have rallied move. Big mistake. Well, I guess I can. Uh... No, I can't even do that either. There's no sparkling tile available either. This one is out of reach. I think we have to reset the map. I don't, I think, I don't think we can do this. I don't think yeah, we can do this. whole thing. Sorry, guys. Yeah. It'll be a long episode. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if we arc thunder, there's like a chance we crit. Uh, but if we don't crit, then we get this unequip switch and arc thunder. I could like map out do... like lower tomes and see if we can get the kill with that. But I think this is about as much as Rickon can do, possibly. Yeah, I would. I would... Let's not do anything too ambitious, you yeah. know, if we get a crit, so be it. Yeah. Like, let's not fuss. Yeah. Also, it doesn't get two shot even, if we fill this. Still on about the whiskers. Okay, Lawrence, show them that you don't always crit. There you go. You gotta kill this guy with hand, that way his downfall will still be here. <laughs> I like how he dodged an axe by just jumping into it. Oof. Fire the logic, man. Have you ever seen Ephraim's dodge animations? Oh, <laughs> now he has 100. Yeah, that's uh, that's Sarge doing work right there. All right, let's go. Get on. Get to <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you nearly Oko him, so that was scary. My invincible mustache. I must retreat. Ugh. Looks like he mustached himself how he lost. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, worth. So okay. worth. So, so worth. Yeah, I'm, I'm regretting this whole chapter. We got to reset you. Worth everything. I mean, we Chiro's got... Chiro's Inigo and Kill. Kill got... still was a second. Wow. Yeah, we got Kill MVP. That's all we wanted, honestly. Fight. There you go. Listen. Right. Let's go. Let's go to that shrine. Isn't this... Oh, there's a cutscene here. Uh... Or not? Yeah, where Lissa complains about walking up the stairs. Oh, yes. How many stairs are there in a case of stairs? Hmm. <sighs> The voice. Is that a TV program? Where are you? I think so. Yay, it's Tiki. My lady. Oh, a favorite unit. Um Marth? Marmar? Oh right. Huh? Marmar. Because, because she kinda looks like Marth, that's right. No. Also she did go by the name Marth. Mm-hmm. Oh that's right. Hey. Tiki is like super old, I forgot, for some reason. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's a bit age. Just a smidge. Is she older now than Bantu was in FE1? I don't know. Do you know how many years is between now and then? 
don't know if anyone knows. Gemstones? Remember? No one, no one gave me any gemstones. Oh, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Hmm? Gemstones. Well. Gemstones? Yeah. <laughs> they call them differently now. I think they had names in, um... I mean, I guess they might not be exactly the same ones that were in New Mystery, basically. They had, like, the... What is it? Like, the Dark the, Sphere, the, the Light signs. Sphere, and the Star Sphere. Ooh. I was thinking of the Zodiac signs. Uh-huh. Oh, that's the okay. Star Shards. Like the Capricorn and stuff, right? Yeah, it's just what I know. I see. Um, mm. I've only played like halfway through New Mystery. Mm. Yes. Cool. Right. Ah, uh, rip. Um. <sighs> Sable and Gulez. Right. I'm of the schism. It's almost more like almost every nation has has a gemstone. Oh, <laughs> well, where's ours? I ah, don't ask about it. <laughs> hmm. I left it at home, though. No. Oh, they we lost have it. Azul at home. Azul at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I knew we were gonna go for that. Two out of five. What? I thought you have two of the five gemstones. Yes. How are we going to master the weapon, Pentagon? <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Good. All right, understood. Let's go for it. Uh, we actually wanted you to rally our troops, but this is this is cool too. Just another quest to collect all the gemstones. Uh, I'm I'm down. <laughs> huh? You have it. What? The strength bane. Power like mine. <sighs> yes. Alright, we can actually recruit Tiki now, I think, if we wanted to. There's no paralog that has her, I think. Can we? Ooh, interesting. I've never recruited Tiki. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> She's so hard to recruit. Yeah. Well, I loaded up on my emulator no. and I think it was like a graphical bug. So. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, they are uniting. Cool. Good. Those who conquer to the conqueror. Yes. If we lose, will they become those who conquer to those who conquer the yeah, conqueror? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be Sultan instead of the Sultan. Ooh. Pretty insulting title, to be honest. Listen. Right. And the sabotage's army. Oh, three main divisions. One to control the north, one to south, and the one in between. Cleverly named two. It's the north, the south is Yenfei. Oh, right. Yenfei. Yenfei. The noble rapier dropper. Divisions. Oh, my. It's time for a plan. Um, if we could divide their divisions, that's just that's just a multiplication, bro. Spreading conquer, right? Divide and conquer, no. Right. Division, division. And it just means there's no fog of war maps, because we'll have division on each of them. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Elite troops time. She talks in an interesting way. I never noticed that before. She's the fine she eye. Very like antiquated language. Yeah. No way. Okay, so the next one or Steiger. I don't remember this one. I think it I don't think it's the first hard one. Oh, I know this one. This is the one with the uh the Selena clone kind of. The Mage Knight boss oh, and yes. all the stairs and stuff. I remember this one. It's a lot of fun, this one. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah you, you'll you have a lot of work in that one, because it's all ambush reinforcements. <laughs> uh, is it, though? I think it's, like, just the stairs. Yeah. And once you plug the stairs in the right, it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> okay. Guess it won't come out. Yeah. Yeah. There are some thieves, but... Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, we'll definitely play that. Uh, there'll probably be a paralogue in between. I get to decide which one. Uh, but either way, I look forward to watching, playing and uh, discussing another episode. We'll see you around. For sure, see you around.